Hey guys, it's Better Venom here, and today I'm going to be playing a little bit of One Figure Death Punch to before I play some Skyrim and continue on with the Skyrim Ultra Modded series. Um, well, actually, I should continue it, but then, well, yeah, you'll you'll learn about it in the thing. Yeah, I'll explain everything. Um, yeah, One Figure Death Punch is not what it looks like at the current thing. It, if you haven't played it before, it's a stick figure game where you use the left or right mouse buttons to attack. You can also use left and right arrow keys, uh, like B and N, and I think it's another one. But yeah, oop, nope, I don't want to lead towards. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of different things you can do. And but yeah, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna do the levels, for the kind of the campaign to show, off, show it off. Um, I'm gonna do an easier level, so that you guys under so you guys are easier to understand. Actually, yeah. So this is pretty much the game. Okay, use, like I said, using the right arrow. No, attacks right. Using left arrow, attacks right, left. There's different types of opponents. Granted, you don't have all the opponents at first, or some of the complicated stuff. I just had right there, but you should, you eventually will get all the opponent. Granted, I probably haven't even got all the opponents yet, because I still find, I play survival more often than I do the levels, so, like, I get a lot of different opponents that I haven't fought yet, so I have to learn them. Granted, I play blind survival, that which is harder than regular survival, because the indicators at the bottom that show you how far you can attack. Uh, how like your range and stuff? I don't get those, and like like how enemies dodge and stuff. I don't get that either. So yeah, as a, for me, blind survival is a lot harder than uh, regular survival. Well, not for me, for anybody. And yeah, but this is just pretty much to show you what the game's like, real quick. And then I'm gonna go into some blind survival and play that. And this is also kind of like a warm-up for me. Before I go into blind survival and get my butt kick. <laughs> uh, this is actually, believe it or not, really strenuous on the tendons. So if you have arthritis or you are trying to prevent yourself from getting arthritis, uh, don't suggest playing this because your two fingers that you use a lot are going to be really active by the game. Because this makes my attention to this game. Like, well, mainly the survival. There's like levels you can like, uh, like I guess you could say pace yourself. Because so far they're still they're still in the hundreds. And that's about it. And yeah, that was it. You only do like a hundred or so, and then blah. And that's that. Okay. Now let's go to survival. So you got regular survival, which you unlock after so many levels. Then you got blind survival, you lock unlock after getting 500 kills in survival. And you get this one, that which you reach 500 kills in blind survival. And trust me, it's a lot harder than it looks. Um, these are your abilities. Pretty much, you can get things for longer, that type of stuff. Um, yeah. Well, let's get into this. Let's get going. Praying mantis. So that's my fighting style. This is you also get a random fighting style, so each time you play, you will never get the same fighting style. So, like, even though I got Praying Mantis this time, I may get Drunken Fist next time. next time the flying crane now as you can probably tell already definitely harder than regular survival because I don't got all those ind indications for what each enemy does and stuff like that and there's harder ones out there but still it's still pretty hard because you actually have to memorize what certain enemies do 
like these look like blue guys. They dodge the first attack and you attack with the second. Three. You had to hit twice. Grays are just regulars. You guys with crowns with brawlers. Still doing pretty bad because I've been kind of gotten used to the blind survival yet. Yeah. Really. Reds like that are three hits. And then there's those that actually, believe it or not, are kind of tricky. Now then you get this. These are kind of the awesome ones. This is, in survival, this is for gaining up your uh, life. Pretty much, these, I guess you could say, are life rounds. So, it, they're not completely unfair. They give you these rounds every so often. Uh, that little gauge down at the bottom as it fills up. You guys can re look at the video. It's a little green gauge. As that fills up, you get to a life round. If it fills all the way up, you get to a life round. The kills here still count to your regular kills. Um, but the white guys will give you an extra life. And it, these guys are a lot faster than these guys. Move a lot faster. Stuff like that. Oh, crap. Granted, survival takes a lot of luck because, uh, like, granted, I'm getting decently lucky right now and I'm getting a lot of grays, but I can get really unlucky and get a lot of colors that which I can't tell you how annoying it is to get a lot of colors that aren't, like, basic colors, like a purple guy or a... Guy. Like, it's so unlucky to get those kind of guys. What that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.